This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Alright guys, it's happening. So, I'm at the airport right now. I'm still in Paris, but I'm at the airport. To be honest, I don't know if that is the boldest or the most stupid move I've ever done on this channel. I thought it was just like an idea at first and then, you know. But you know what? I'm doing it. I'm gonna come it. Hey guys, salut, it's Alex. Uh, I hope you all are very well. I'm definitely feeling good. And I'm about to make meatballs. I don't feel like meatballs are treated right. They deserve more love, more care. And that's exactly what I'm gonna provide them. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna start making the perfect meatball. I, damn it, I hope it's a good sign. I would be very tempted to start by making meatballs immediately, but there is something you need to understand. Meatballs are not meatballs. I mean, they are meatballs, but they are not meatballs. Let's do a little experiment. This is the end of that little experiment where I made meatballs using only meat. It smells beefy. <laughs> they are beefy, strong, salty, slightly caramelized on the outside. Juicy wise, it's not bad. It's not great. I just wanted to prove something and it's exactly on point at the moment. Maybe we could benefit from a little blue fridge theory. You know it's coming, it's coming. Right, let's take a closer look at what is a, a meatball from a science point of view, okay? Science. Technical. Science. A meatball needs to have both meat and non-meat elements to it. You see the meat part is pretty straightforward. Beef, pork, veal, chicken, turkey, animal flesh in, in general. Since that part, the non-meat element of the meatball can be anything, it's hard to list. What am, I <laughs> what am I listing? However, I can list the things it does for the meatball. Moisten or dry, soften or toughen, bind or loosen, tenderize the meat, flavor, they can color, they can season. Now the reason why I wrote non-meat fillers have, they have this negative aspect to them, like you, you're probably familiar with the same all killer, no filler, which in this case makes absolutely no sense. Do not decrease the fillers or the non-meat element. You need them. I'm gonna illustrate this right away. Sponsor time. Skillshare is sponsoring this video and that's great because I love learning very much. I'm a lifelong learner basically. They offer thousands of classes for highly creative and extremely curious people like you and me in so many different topics like illustration, design, productivity, business and of course 
cooking. Their classes are designed for real life, which means that you don't have to put your life on hold pretty convenient when you have a busy uh, routine. So at the moment I'm following a few classes, especially in illustration, but the one I'm focusing the most at the moment, they have a super legit meatball class by one of the founder of the meatball shop. It's like a small boutique restaurant chain based in New York. Definitely check it out. At less than $10 a month, I feel like Skitcher is very affordable. You get unlimited access to all the classes. Click the link in the description below to get two free months of premium membership. Thank you Skitcher for sponsoring this video. I'm not sure I did the perfect job at making them spherical. They're slightly flattened, but it does tell you that the texture of these is more supple. Oof. Ça c'est beau mon coco. Soft, supple, uniform inside. They are way juicier. They are not like crazy juicy, but definitely juicier than the first example we made. In terms of flavor, it's not crazy flavorful. So basically the takeaway is these are softer, juicier, but not more flavorful. And that's where we need to start thinking about all the different kinds of non-meat element that we can add to these in order to make them more flavorful. So many combinations, so many elements. Hopla. All the different combinations you could think of. Got meat, beef, pork, beef, turkey, chicken, fish, maybe not lamb, filet, breadcrumbs, sandwich, bread, rustic bread, vegetable, yes. corn, cheese, we can see the cyanide, the yeah. yeah. powder, Swiss, mozzarella, yes. Yes. starch, flour, eggs, or no eggs, xanthan, gum. It's a bit more complicated than I thought it would be. I thought I could explore all the different possibilities. 33,177,000 possibilities. It's not working. When in doubt, just eat a little something. You will feel better. These are just dry apricots. I'm trying to think at the moment of, an, of, of another option on how to come up with the absolute perfect meatball recipe, but I'm blanking. What am I doing? You learn the classic. You learn the basics. And then, way, 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 way down the line, maybe, just maybe, you might innovate. And I wanted to start immediately with innovating. That's exactly me. Let's go and look for the classics. Best meatball. Let's just step away for a second and take a look at the big picture. What do I see? Well, I see Bowls, red sauce, cheese, parsley, bigger bowls than I expected. I think in the US this might not be surprising to you. These are Italian meatballs, or at least the Americanized version of polpette, so the Italian meatballs. Apparently, according to the internet, these are the most famous. But now the question is, do I just read something online and recreate these? Is this the typical reaction that, that, that we want to see on this channel. I do not think so. I think there is a gap between learning a recipe from the internet and just tasting the real deal. I mean, I know it's in the US. But I'm not entirely sure what I should be doing. There are two options right there. Going online, looking for at least 10 solid recipes of Italian meatballs and then coming up with like an interpretation of mine. So that's a safe, logical approach. That's also a bit of a boring one if you ask me. Then there is the one where I'm not entirely sure that I will get more information from, but I will definitely get more fun from. We all know what's gonna happen. I need to accept who I am maybe. That's, that's the thing.
But guys, it's happening. So I'm at the airport right now. I'm still in Paris, but I'm at the airport. I don't think I expected this specific turn of event in this meatball adventure. I mean, how am I supposed to learn a new recipe? Like, from reading it online? Nah. I wanna be a part of it. New York, New York. I'm boarding on the plane. I guess it's too late to go back now.